it's literally bigger than my face. I don't like these wheels. Today I am going to be fitting all four wheels. Welcome back to another episode of Project Octavia and in the last episode we fitted the IS20 turbo and uh, the performance downpipe on this car. Unfortunately, we couldn't give you any sort of noise action but in this episode I'm probably going to get my hands dirty if you know the situation allows it and we're going to be fitting the new brakes and the new wheels. So these are the brakes. VRS 245 brakes are actually a pretty significant upgrade for this car. Currently. Uh, I'm running a different set of brakes, not even the stock ones. They're actually kind of like a downgrade. I'll explain more in just a bit, but let's quickly head over there inside uh, the mechanics office because my new pads and my new rotors are there. So let's check that out. So these over here are my new rotors and they're absolutely massive. It's literally bigger than my face. So these are basically the stock VRS 245 rotors. Uh, we've ordered them from Febby Bilstein. So a pretty reputed brand, very good quality. And yeah, they're absolutely massive. I'm not sure what the exact size is. Uh, I'll just confirm that in some time, but yeah, super heavy and a pretty big upgrade. And my pads are also basically stock pads for a VRS 245 and they're inside. Kaha pe hai pads? Bahari hai. No, those aren't the pads. Those are the old pads. <coughs> this white box. No, that's liquids. Okay. okay. So these are the pads as well. We are stock VRS 245 brake pads. So yeah, let's start with the process of fitting the new brakes and till then I can show you the new wheels as well because I've actually been uh, running them for a couple of days now because I've sold my original, like the wheels that I got with the car to Bhavneet because Bhavneet has bought a new project car and I think so that episode will be coming after this one. So stay tuned for that as well because that car is epic. This is my old rotor and this thing over here is my new rotor and as you can see it is a pretty pretty massive difference and there is actually one reason to that because this is actually a downgraded braking system. So I sold my stock brakes to a Volkswagen Jetta owner because a Jetta comes with 288 mm rotors from the factory and an Octavia 1.8 comes with 312 mm rotors from the factory. So I actually sold my original braking system to a Jetta and I had to get something in return because I couldn't have, I couldn't do without a car. So I had to put on a Jetta's braking system in the front. So these are 288 mm Jetta brakes. Um, so now I am directly jumping to 340 mm brakes from a VRS 245. So this is basically the rotor and yeah, this is a pretty big difference. There is a difference in the caliper also. The caliper in the Jetta is pretty small and the caliper in the VRS is pretty, pretty big. There is a difference in the pad size and almost everything. Yeah, a pretty big difference. So I think I just need to keep this because they're pretty heavy. Ah. So these are my new wheels and if it was any surprise to anyone, they're OEM plus wheels. Uh, these are VRS 245 wheels as you can see and they're wrapped around in some 235-40 R18 Continental Sport Contact 5 tyres. Currently my favourite set of tyres in the market for sure. Uh, and I have to be honest, 
I don't like these wheels and I don't like these wheels especially on my car so not too sure what I'm going to do with them because when I saw them I was like yeah they should look good on the car but once they were on it yeah I was not really happy so I mean I don't have any option at the moment I have to run these wheels regardless because my original set that came with the car has been sold to Bhavneet like I said so I have to make do with these wheels probably what I'm going to be doing is I'll be changing the color later on because I really don't like this diamond cut finish I think it just looks super bad and makes it look like a hot wheel car instead of a real car so yeah and probably this is the only part that I'm going to be fitting today because that's the maximum amount of competency I have in terms of mechanical, doing mechanical things or anything related to garage work. So yeah, let us know in the comments down below what you think of these wheels and what do you think we should do with them because I don't really like them. And if you want these wheels, then let me know. DM me on my personal Instagram. If you have any good offer for them, probably I'll give them to you and buy something else. So this is one more thing we're going to be adding and this is actually a part that goes on the rear axle. So this is a knuckle and this is from a VRS245 again. And we're putting this on because it protrudes a little bit outside, towards the outside. So the fitment of the wheel should be flush with the fender. So that is the main reason we're putting it because this will give us that perfect fitment. So we'll be putting this in this episode as well. Welcome to the world's fastest pit stop. Today I am going to be fitting all four wheels of my car. Righty tighty, no? Left rear. Atta hai kya hai pehle? Light gaya hai yar. Mike, 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 Mike.
मैड हो गया एक बार हाँ उस दिन हो गया हो गया मैड फास्टर देन आई एक्सपेक्टेड फॉर श्योर ऊपर क्यों ले रहे अच्छा रेट माई व्हील फिटिंग स्किल्स आउट ऑफ टेन डाउन इन द कॉमेंट्स so finally we've uh, installed the new wheels and the new brakes and uh, the knuckle from the VRS 245 and as you can see the fitment's a little bit more flush now still not what i want probably just a little bit more outside i might have to get spacers for that but uh, not any time soon so basically in one day uh, with the boys over here at mechanics we've Uh, installed new wheels new brakes new rotors new pads new calipers caliper carrier a new knuckles at the rear end the is20 turbo and a downpipe all in one single day so yeah and i have also of course installed the wheels and tires by myself and the bash plate kind of so yeah super fun hopefully i'll be working on a couple of more things on the car in the future and also a big shout out to house of droop for giving us these amazing caps we've gotten like seven caps and all of them are amazing this is my favorite one uh, we met the owner of house of droop in delhi and he gave us a bunch of free stuff so a big shout out to them do check their page out there uh, link will be in down in the description so yeah comment down below what you think the next mod on the octavia 1.8 should be mostly is going to be either the intake or the tune i think so the tune needs to come fast because yeah i i need a car so this needs to get onto the road very very soon so thank you so much for watching follow mechanics follow the drivers hub and i'll catch you in the next one